Owned by Jerry Johnson, the driver, Tony Hall. Two are in a little bit, is owned by Lowell Prickett. Dan Noble is up. Three is Sweet Misty, owned by John Perrin, driven by Brad Miller. Rob Long Cassie, owned by Joe Wilson, Jimmy Wisman. Five, Kentucky Ritz, owned by Charlie Smith Jr., and he drives. In the back stretch, and there they go. There, off quickest away, it's hopped along Cassie from the center. She and Jimmy Wisman look to edge clear in the early going. The Yankees bad girl with sharp early speed. And in a little bit is going to take a seat in the three hole, a length and a half back to Truly Test, coming away from the second tier in good order. Fourth, uh, dropping away in fifth is Noble Lori, gap of two lengths back. And we get Sweet Misty, followed by Regal Mistake. Then it's Kentucky Ritz, who is two lengths clear of the trailer. Arashima as they move to head stretch for the first time. And Yankees bad girl confronts the early pace setter, hop along Cassie in 28. And one and passing the stands for the first time. Yankees bad girl and Tony Hall trying to clear the top spot from Hopalong Cassie, who is making her work for it. But Yankees bad girl has got the top right now. Earn a little bit. Edges to the outside third. That'll give cover to Truly Tess, who is moving up second over from fourth. Length and back. And Noble Lori is off the cones from fifth. Sweet Misty will try to shoot the gap in sixth. She's got nowhere to go. A butt forward uh, as they move around the turn. Then on the outside seventh, it's Regal Mistake and a break of three and a half lengths back to the pair of Kentucky Ritz and Rashima, 57 and three. A solid pace in here is the round the turn into the back stretch. Yankees bad girl taking pressure from Earn a little bit, who's right there, neck back in second. Truly Tess, and Rick Dingledon sends her up three wide, bidding for the lead. Followed by Hopalong Cassie, fourth in the pocket. On the outside in fifth, Noble Lori is just a length and a half off the pace. Coming on from three wide is Regal Mistake. Sweet Misty looks for racing room, and then we get Kentucky Ritz and Rashima. But in the meantime, Truly Tess kicks away by three in 127 and two. Midway around the far turn, Truly Tess has built up a four-length advantage. Regal Mistake is coming after her in second. Followed by Noble Lori in third, gap of three lengths back. To Hopalong Cassie, Yankees Bad Girl, and Sweet Misty. As they come down the stretch, it's Truly Tess by two lengths, but Regal Mistake is gobbling up ground. Truly Tess goes off stride, and Regal Mistake's going to win this one for fun. It's Regal Mistake and Nysanger by four. Hopalong Cassie to go second. Noble Laurie was third. And 80 cents, try 749-168-40. Into the winner's circle, it's Regal Mistake, a three-year-old Tudor Scooter filly from Pure Polish by Big Towner, owned by Donna Elza of Franklin, Ohio, trained by Larry Tinch, and driven to victory by Jeff Nysonger in 157-3. and That's the fourth win in the season and a career best mile for the sophomore filly, Regal Mistake. This is Miz Oak, owned by John Perrin with Sandy Beatty. To TM's Rock and Robin, owned by Tom Gray, Jeff Nysonger. Three April time, Kim, owned by Hushang Moment, Poor the driver, Dan Noble. Four is Nat Lash, owned by Stephen Ford, Brett Miller. Five, Towner Sabrina, owned by Dan Perdue with Dave Hawk. She's my niece, is the six. She races for Kelly Cook, and she's driven by Jimmy Wisman. Seven is usually jovial, owned by the Big Hat Stable with Jamie Dunlap. And the eight, Martinsville Girl, is owned by Michael Ray West. The driver is Kane Kaufman. Post time of the second in six minutes. And the second race field is now moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off. She's my niece with good early speed. Ms. Oak is there along the inside. And going off stride, she's my niece. She's my niece on a nasty break. Has been relegated to the tail end of the field. Is usually jovial. Uh, crosses over and tries to edge clear of April Time Kim as they move around the far turn. Ms. Oak is a prominent third, followed by TM's Rock and Robin, fourth by a length and a half. Nat Lash is fifth. Then we get Towner Sabrina, followed by Martinsville Girl, and a 20 length separation to the trailer. She's my niece back on gate, but well behind. 28 and 2 for the opening quarter as they pass the stands for the first time. And usually jovial and Jamie Dunlap are commanding the early pace, leading pocket sitter April time, Kim by a length and a half. Ms. Oak in line from third, TM's Rock and Robin looking to move to the outside in fourth, and she'll bring Nat Lash along with her. Next, it's Towner Sabrina inside of a third over Martinsville Girl, and ten lengths back to She's My Niece, who is gradually catching the field, but well out of contention. As they move half mile pole bound, it's usually jovial on the engine. She reaches the half in 58 and two, usually jovial by a length and a half. April time, Kim getting the perfect trip in the garden spot, second, Ms. Oak is third. 
TM's Rock and Robin continues the grind on the outside fourth. She's being called on for more, and she's not responding. Followed by Towner Sabrina, pinned down to the pylons in fifth. Second over in sixth, uh, that's Nat Lash. Followed by Martinsville Girl, and then ten lengths back to She's My Niece as they head on to the far turn. No challengers yet for usually Jovial. She's led since the get-go. She's in front by a length and a quarter. April time, Kim comes under urging as she looks to come to the outside. The challenge second, followed by Ms. Oak in third. Then it's Towner Sabrina, a stagnant TM's Rock and Robin Nat Lash forced up three wide, 127 and three as they move to the top of the stretch. And usually Jovial braces for the challenge of April time. Kim as they turn down the lane. Ms. Oak is racing in third, followed by Towner Sabrina fourth. Usually Jovial clings to a narrow lead. Ms. Oak down the inside. April time, Kim is not gonna reach tonight. It's usually Jovial in a game effort. She scores by a length. Ms. Oak to go second. April time, Kim was third. Seven one exact. returns four oh one twenty. Try seven one three two thousand seven twenty three something. Back in the winner's circle, it's usually jovial. A three-year-old daughter of In the Pocket from Adora Hanover by Big Towner, owned by the Big Hat Stable, trained by Steve Livingston, and driven a victory by Jamie Dunlap. It's her first victory on the season, 156 and four, is good for a new career best mile. Second race, sponsored by HER of Lancaster. Here's your run tick. One is Kiara Kress, some of the Virgil Morgan Jr. stables, with Brad Miller up. Two, Astrological is some of the Strollin stable, Dave Hawk. Three, Hilarious Margie, owned by Sterling Brook Farms, Jeff Nysonger. Four, Max Gwen, owned by Turbulent Air Inc., Justin Hall. Five, Squash You Like a Bug, is owned by Stan Swango III, Dan Noble is up. Six, Crimson Cam, is owned by Retha Haynes with Jamie Dunlap. Seven is Dwight Clark, Sirius, and Chip Noble. Eight, Titar's Mojo, is owned by George Feltner with John Collins. The nine is Scratch, the ten is Sparkling Sovereign by George Urban with Jimmy Wisman. Host time, six minutes. There they go. They're off, and T-Tars Mojo is off dry now, trailing the field. Jeff Nysanger sends Hilarious Margie out for the lead. She's pushed early on by Astrological from the inside, but Astrological will give way and let Hilarious Margie have the top spot. Driving on from the outside is Squash You Like a Bug, then a gap of two lengths back. Kiara Kress is fourth, Sparkling Sabra, way well in fifth, length and a half more to Max Gwen, followed by Crimson Cam. Then it's Sirius, who is five lengths clear of T-Tars Mojo, who is making up some ground at the back of the pack. She has just about caught the field. 20 and two for the opening quarter is the pass the stands for the first time, and Dan Noble puts Squash Squash you like a bug on the front end, just as she was last week. She leads the way, but Dave Hawk hustles Astrological up on the outside. There goes Astrological looking to clear the top spot as they approach the clubhouse turn. Hilarious Margie quickly back to third, and Sparkling Sabra is powering up on the outside first over. Then we get Kiara Kress. Max Gwen moves out to pick up live cover. Two more to Crimson Cam, followed by Sirius, and a seven-length separation to T-Tars Mojo, who trails the field. 58 seconds for the half, rounding the turn into the backstretch. It's Astrological by just over over one length. Sparkling Sabra inching up ever closer on the outside second. Squash You Like a Bug is locked up in the box third. Max Gwen riding cover comes into contention now fourth. Third back at the pylons. Hilarious Margie trapped in fifth. Kiara Kress underway from sixth. And then we get Crimson Cam outside of Sirius. And ten lengths back to T-Tars Mojo as they head on to the far turn. And Sparkling Sabra has worn down Astrological and now takes the lead. 127 and 1. Midway through the far turn. Sparkling Sabra is the one to catch. She's got the best of it by a length and a quarter. Max Gwen takes up the chase in second. Kiara Kress on the far outside. And Astrological drops anchor as they turn down the stretch. Sparkling Sabra under the whip. Max Gwen coming to her on the outside. And Kiara Kress is full of pace out in the center. It's Max Gwen. Kiara Kress on the outside. Kiara Kress on the outside gets up for the win. Max Gwen a game second. Sirius from far back was third. 1-4 exact returns $120. Try one 4840860 And into the winner's circle is Brad Miller with Kiara Kress. It's her fourth win on the season, and she scores in a lifetime best mile. 156-3 and three for the Virgil Morgan Jr. Stables. Kiara Kress is a three-year-old village connection from Rose Kress by Happy Escort. Here's your rundown. Kiara Kress was the winner. Astrological was eighth. Larius Margie, seventh. Max Gwen, second. Squash You Like a Bug was sixth. 
Crimson Cam fifth, Sirius third, T-Tars Mojo nine, Nukes Rosie was scratched, Sparkling Sabra was fourth. One, eight, seven, two, six, five, three, nine, scratch, four. Upcoming fourth, Jay Cross on the five, Star in the Rough, Bennett, owned by Betty Jean Jordan with Randy Tharps. Two, Express Lane two is owned by Donna Lane with Kane Kaufman up. Three is a diamond in June, owned by Mark Deaton with Brett Miller. Four, Forever and Ever Amen, owned by Mel Ravello with Dan Noble. Five star in the rough, under lease to Dorothy Brinkerhoff, her driver, Jay Cross. Six, Marky Event, owned by Carol Gamble with Jamie Dunlap. Seven is Sugar Bug, owned by Rosemary and Andrew Stephen, Dave Hawk. Eight is Tussie Mussy, owned by Burnett Conley and Noble, Chip Noble. Nine, since he's shy, Lizzie is owned by Thomas Price with Jack Daly. Post time for the fourth in seven minutes. Fourth race field is now lined up in the backstretch. They're nearing the start. They're off. Sharpenet flashing good early speed. Goes out in tandem with a diamond in June. And Express Lane 2 makes up the top flight, now dropping away into the three hole. Two and a half lengths back to Forever and Ever Amen, followed by Star in the Rough. Then we get Marquee Event, a span of three more to Cincy Shy Lizzie, Tussie Mussy, and going off stride at the back of the pack, Sugar Bug. But Brad Miller has Diamond in June on a two and a half length advantage as she reaches the opening quarter in a fast 27 and 2, passing the stands for the first time, and a Diamond in June is dictating the pace in here, leading Sharpenet by two and a half lengths. The same gap back Express Lane 2 sitting in from third followed by Forever and Ever Amen with the rail ride in fourth. Mark Heaven is working her way up on the outside. Fifth star in the rough is back to sixth. Cincy Shy Lizzie comes to the outside. Seven, three back to Tussie Mussy and 15 lengths back to Sugarbug. Round the turn to halftime. It's Diamond in June having it all her own way. She hits the half in 57 and one. The favorite, a Diamond in June, enjoying a two-length command as they race down the backstretch. Sharpenet is the closest pursuer in second, and Express Lane 2 is brought to the outside to range up from third. Forever and Ever Amen will close that gap up in fourth. Marquee Event is brought along with cover in fifth. She's seven off the lead and will have to do better, followed by Star in the Rough. Cincy, Shy Lizzie, and Tussie Mussy, they haven't even touched a Diamond in June. She's still well clear, 125 and three, and she's trying to turn it on now. 28 and two on the third quarter, as as they move to the top of the stretch. It's a diamond in June, starting to get some urging now. Sharp Bennett draws within a length and a half of the lead as they make the bend into the stretch and a diamond in June uh, comes under urging. Sharp Bennett is bearing down on her and forever and ever a man is sliding up the pylon. Sharp Bennett strikes the front. Forever and ever a man, a diamond in June's been swallowed up. Forever and ever a man just wins it. Then it was Sharp Bennett and a diamond in June, 155 and one. from Adelaide Hanover by Albatross, owned by Mel Ravello of Huber Heights, trained by Randy Owens, and driven to victory by Dan Noble in 155 and one. That's her career best mile, and that's her third win on the season. Fifth race, exact as in tries. One is Tanya Spur, owned by William Cantrell. Kane Kaufman is up. Two is to get even, owned by Nancy Perry with Darren Mauser. Three, Flying Apache, owned by Newt Thomas, Dave Hawk. Four, Scarlet's Mark, owned by Richard Perry and Frazier, Jeff Nysonger. Five, Chili Savannah, owned by James Davis, Chip Noble. Six is out, seven, Marie Claire. Owned by Tommy Lee Smith with Randy Tharps. And the eight horse is DeMilan Dart. Owned by the Casper Stable and driven by Brett Miller. That's your feel for race five. It's seven minutes away. Just have claimers are lined up in the backstretch. Nearing the start for the fifth. They are off. 
Flying Apache heading out to take command. Flashing good early speed. It's Scarlet's mark from the outside. And Tanya Spur is well placed along the rail. A gap of two and a half lengths back. And truly Savannah comes away in the fourth spot. Racing mid-pack in fifth is Marie Claire. Followed by to get even. DeMile and Dart is last. Twelve lengths off the pace. That is being set by Flying Apache. And she's flying up top. Flying Apache leads by two and a half lengths. Tanya Spur is racing in second. Followed by Scarlet's mark who tucks away in the three hole. And the opening quarter was paced in 27 and three. Single five pass in the grandstand and flying Apache leads the charge for Dave Hawk she's on top by a length and a half Tanya Spur is racing a tight second followed by Scarlett's mark in line from third and Marie Claire is sent first over on the outside and DeMilan Dart follows that live cover from the back of the pack then we get truly Savannah and to get even uh, moves into the outer tier as they round the clubhouse turn on the way to halftime it's flying Apache cutting the mile Flying Apache by a length and a quarter from Tanya Spur, and Marie Claire has worked her way up on the outside into third. 58-2 and two, uh, for a uh, fairly brisk half as they round the turn into the backstretch. Second over D. and Dart uh, now moves into fourth position, followed by Scarlet's Mark, who shuffled back to fifth. Two and a half clear of Truly Savannah, and to get even is having trouble keeping up, and she drops back to the pylons trailing the field. Heading on to the far turn, Flying Apache maintains a one-length advantage on Marie Claire, who looks to be a threat from the outside. Then it's Tanya Spur. DeMile and Dart will have to pick it up, and Scarlet's Mark needs racing room. 127 flat. Midway through the far turn, it's Flying Apache still with a one-length lead. On Marie Claire on the outside, Tanya Spur poised to strike from the pocket. DeMile and Dart on the far outside. Scarlet's Mark way down the inside. Truly Savannah on the extreme outside as they come after Flying Apache in deep stretch. Flying Apache, Tanya Spur. Marie Claire on the outside, flying Apache is game, and she scores. Finishing second was Marie Claire for them across the track for the show, 156 and 1. Into the winner's circle, flying Apache, a wire-to-wire -wire win for Dave Hawk, Lloyd Hawk, and owner New Thomas of Columbus. She's a six-year-old Apache circle mare from Social Friday by Cedar Ridge. Three seven exact to forty-four sixty. Try three seven five two hundred sixteen even. Here they are for the sixth. Exactors and tries. One is south side flash. Herb Thompson and Vincent Moore own. Brad Miller drives. To Beve Rebo owned by Melby Over. Jack Daly. Three Jet Stream Magic owned by James Wampler with Dan Noble. For Casey Camarillo owned by Nancy Perry. Darren Mauser. Five Fritzy Pickpocket owned by Fritz Fritz and McHenry. Chip Noble. Six Look Lorena is owned by Lois Stovall. Jimmy Wisman. Seven is Donald Bolins, Brookside Spitfire and Kane Kaufman. A. Kayla Marie, owned by Harry and Iris Horowitz, Justin Hall. Nine, Eden Beauty Patina is owned by John Perrin with Sandy Beatty. Scoring from the second tier is the 10, Jill's Flight, owned by Connie Messler with Tony Hall. Seven minutes to the sixth. The starting gate is rolling. Pacers for the sixth race have taken their spots behind the starting gate, which now swings into the backstretch, and there they go. 
There, off Jet Stream Magic and KC Camarilla go out together, and Fritzy Pickpocket joins the top flight from three wide, as does Beve Rebo from the pylons. Southside Flash comes away in fifth by a length and a half. Jill's flight is racing in six by two, and then it's a look Lorena, followed by Brookside Spitfire, Kayla Marie, and Eden Buda Patina is the back marker early on as they move to the top of the stretch, and it's Fritzy Pickpocket and Chip Noble gradually working their way to the front, trying to clear Jet Stream Magic. KC Camarilla looks at it from third 28 and three for the opening quarter as they pass the stands for the first time and Fritzy pickpocket now takes the lead to from Jetstream Magic who uh, gives it up in second but there goes Jetstream Magic she is not content to sit the two hole trip she pops out of the pocket and circles around Fritzy pickpocket as they race into the clubhouse turn two and a half lengths back Casey Camarilla is racing in the third spot first over on the rim Jill's flight from fourth back to fifth it's Beve Rebo look Lorena moves up in the cover tier from sixth and then we get Southside Flash, shuffle back and hemmed in seventh, followed by the three outsiders, Brookside Spitfire, Kayla Marie, and Eden Beauty Patina, 57 and three for the half. Racing down the backstretch, less than three eighths of a mile left to pace, and Jetstream Magic and now leads the way by two lengths, being pursued by Jill's flight on the rim, second. Fritzy Pickpocket now draws a closer third in the pocket. Casey Camarilla from the inside is fourth. Look, Lorena is racing idle on the outside in fifth, followed by Bebe Rebo and Brookside Spitfire's fourth step three wide. Kayla Marie is starting to pick it up from the back of the pack. She rallies six off the lead. 126 and four moving around to the top of the stretch and it's Jetstream Magic leading it by two lengths from Jill's flight and Fritzy Pickpocket who continue to give chase and then we get Casey Camarillo shakes free and Kayla Marie on the extreme outside as they come through deep stretch. Jetstream Magic now collared up the inside by Fritzy Pickpocket. Fritzy Pickpocket has won it. Tight flight place photo between Beve Rebo and Jill's flight 156 and four. Five-year-old daughter in the pocket from Kissing Almahers by Falcon Almahers, now by the partnership of Fritz, Fritz, and McHenry, trained by Richard Fritz, and driven to victory by Chip Noble in 156 and 4. 510 exact to 24 even, try 510 2, 196.80. And here's the verdict on the pick three. Three of three correct gets you $1,100.40. To proper banner owned by Bob Sidley, Jamie Dunlop. Three Evil Gen is owned by Mike Havens and Ronald Bates. Brad Miller's up. Four Civil Kiara is owned by David and Cynthia Lamb, Dave Hawk. Five Bless Our Best, owned by Ben Sexton, John Collins Drives. Six Taramina is owned by Jeff Dennis with Chip Noble. And the seven is Lady with a Future. She races for Iris Horowitz. Jay Cross is in her bike. Seven minutes. Paces for the seventh. They're lined up in the back stretch, and there they go. There, a favor way to a fast start, as was Evil Jenna. Those two are inseparable as they enter the turn. A gap of two and a half lengths back, proper banner. Away in good order, third, length and a half more. And Civil Kiara is fourth. Bless our best is racing in fifth by two lengths. Then it's Terramina and Lady with the Future trails the field as Fava drives on through and forces Evil Jenna to take a seat in the pocket. Two and a half more to proper banner, followed by Civil Kiara. Then it's Bless our best, Terramina and Lady with the Future, the quarter. 26 and 3, a taxing first split put up by Favor, who is controlling the pace. It's Favor by a length and a quarter. Evil Jenna sitting the two hole trip. Proper Banner looks at it from third, followed by Bless Our Best, who's moving up on the outside in fourth. Back to fifth, it's Civil Kiera. And then it's Taramina, who comes out just in front of Lady with a Future, who trails the field. Moving around the clubhouse turn, Favor is on top of the field. Favor by a length and a quarter. Evil Jenna getting a ground saving trip in the pocket. The half goes in 56. Six and three. Bless our best taking the overland route from third. Proper banners locked up racing in fourth. Second over in fifth. Taramina is well within range. She's only three lengths off the lead. Followed by Civil Kiera and Lady with the Futures on the outside trailing. Field of seven is covered by less than five lengths as they head on to the far turn. 
Favor continues to lead it. Favor by a length and a quarter. Evil Jenna inside of Bless Our Best. They're second and third, followed by Proper Banner, Taramina, Civil, Kiara, and Lady with a future. 124 and four. Midway through the far turn, Favor tries to put it in another gear. She leads by a length and a half. Evil Jenna still right there in the pocket, second, followed by Bless Our Best. She's full out third, and she'll have to do better as they come down the stretch. Favor leads the way. Evil Jenna closing down the inside. Bless Our Best still in with a shot. Taramina extreme outside as they come after Fave in deep stretch. It's Bless Our Best. Taramina on the far outside getting up. Finishing second. It was Bless Our Best. Then it was Fave a 155. It was 6 2 one, seven. Upcoming eighth race, three Jake's bad news has been scratched sick. Exact as in tries. Post time in 14 minutes at 9.57. Heading back to the winner's circle, Taramina picks up her fourth win of the season, and Chip Noble is second win of the night. She's owned and trained by Jeff Dennis, an eight-year-old daughter of Tough Sir by Taborine by Tabor, from Tabor Lobel. Taramina scores in 155 flat. They are for the eighth. One is into the sun, owned by W. E. Meadows, Andy Shetler. Two cent saver, owned by Stacy Harris. Frank Harris drives. Three is out. Four is True Blue Lou, owned by Blatchford and Sutton. Jeff Nysonger. Five crosswind Miss Vicky, owned by Charles Bauer with Jay Cross. Six I'm a little sleepy. Is at least to the Derby Zed Stable. Brett Miller aboard. Seven is uh, Motor Scooter, owned in partnership by Patricia French and Denise Tharps. Randy Tharps. A come on, Wild Angel, owned by Jerry Summers with Jamie Dunlap. Nine, CJ's Quiet Storm, owned by Near Dylan Beatty, Dean Glispie, and the ten is Woolridge Can Win, owned by Ray Belt, Dave Hawk. Seven minutes. There they go. They are off and first away from the center. It's True Blue Lou, prompted by Motor Scooter early on. And Scent Saver backs off the pace in the third spot. Hung out in fourth, it's I'm a little sleepy. Followed in fifth by Crosswind Miss Vicky. Then a length and a quarter back to Woolridge Can Win. Come on, Wild Angel tucks in behind her. And then we get CJ's Quiet Storm in the distant trailer after a miscue is into the sun. Rolling to the top of the stretch for the first time, Motor Scooter fronts the field. Motor Scooter from True Blue Lou in a fast 27 in three. Gap slightly in third is Scent Saber. Length and a half back. I'm a little sleepy. Tucked away in fourth. She's got six to make up at this stage. And then we get Crosswind Miss Vicky, followed by Woolridge Can Win, and Dave Hawk is going up first over with Woolridge Can Win. Come on, Wild Angel grabs the live cover, and now Woolridge Can Win flushes out. I'm a little sleepy. Racing second last in the field at CJ's Quiet Storm, and much further back to the trailer into the sun as they move by the half-mile pole with Motor Scooter in front at that station in 57 and 4. Motor Scooter by a length and one quarter with True Blue Lou drafting in neatly second. First over on the rim, I'm a little sleepy, has made ground into third. Scent Saver is covered up fourth. Brought along with cover now, Woolridge can win, is racing in fifth position, well placed, two and a half lengths off the lead. Then a length and a half farther back, and we get Come On Wild Angel, who is third over in sixth, with five to make up, followed by a crosswind, Miss Vicky, and two and a half lengths farther back to CJ's Quiet Storm, three quarters, one, 26 and one, midway through the far turn. Motor Scooter continues to be pressed by I'm a Little Sleepy on the outside. True Blue Lou wants out of the pocket, third, uh, followed by a Woolridge can win, who looks to fan out wide and on the extreme outside closing in here comes come on wild angel as they come through deep stretch it's motor scooter true blue lou come on wild angel running out of ground motor scooter come on wild angel they hit the wire together it was tight between motor scooter and come on wild angel followed by true blue lou 156 and one Circle comes Motor Scooter winning it the hard way for Patricia French and Denise Tharps. Tom Tharps, the winning trainer. Randy Tharps guides her to victory in 156 and 1. That's a career best mile for the five year old Bay Mayor by expensive scooter from Bardo Philly by Albatross.
And they are for the ninth, exactters and tries. One is Whispering Hush, shown by Glenn Bird, Bill Walters. Two emblem, owned by Ben Venga and Richard, Randy Tharps. Three Bellagio, owned by Melody Young, Stephen Henninger. Four is Fringe Benefit, owned by Siegel Racing Stable Limited, Brett Miller up. Five Felicity, owned by Joe Sabraco and Don Latour, Jeff Nysonger. Six Arts Touch, owned by James Hardesty, Dan Noble. Seven is Sam's Magic Time, owned by Thomas Price and Stuart Bolander, Dave Hawk. Eight Village Ways, owned by Forstner, Ackley, and Potter, J. Cross. Nine Winning Connection, owned by Blankenship, Blankenship, and Hickey, David Myers. Six minutes to race nine. This field swings into the backstretch. There they go. They're off. Bellagio and Fringe Benefit leave together. Now Bellagio gives way to Fringe Benefit early on and driving up to join the fray, Sam's Magic Time from the far outside. Sam's Magic Time now confronting Fringe Benefit. Whispering Hush is fourth by two lengths. Emblem is fifth by length and a half. Felicity is next. And then we get Arts Touch, Village Ways, and Winning Connection is at the tail end of the field as Sam's Magic Time goes right on by Fringe Benefit, who comes right back out of the pocket looking to retake 28 seconds for the opening quarter, passing the stands, and Fringe Benefit moves right around Sam's Magic Time to take back the top spot. Bellagio is forwardly placed in third. Whispering Hush is fourth. And Emblem is surging up on the outside. And Felicity's brought along with that cover, as is Village Ways from the back of the pack. Then it's Arts Touch. And winning connection is fourth over trailing the field. Rounding the turn on their way to the half mile pole, Fringe Benefit is now back on top. Fringe Benefit by just over one length as Emblem creeps up on the outside. 59 seconds flat for the half. It's the pylon ride for Sam's Magic Time, pocketed uh, very snugly there in third, second over on the outside. A racing in fourth position is Felicity. Bellagio is hemmed in fifth, only three and a half lengths off the lead. Third over in sixth is Village Ways, followed by Whispering Hush. Winning connection is on the outside, just in front of the trailer. Arts Touch as they head on to the far turn with Fringe Benefit, the three to five favorite in control. Fringe Benefit by a length and a quarter. Emblem's trying to hold her ground. Sam's Magic Time is saving all the ground. Felicity is rallying three wide, followed by Bellagio needs racing room, and Village Ways looks to pick it up in the final three sixteenths, one twenty-eight and two, as they make the turn for home with Fringe Benefit leading the way. It's Fringe Benefit by a length and a half. Sam's Magic Time now takes aim from the pocket. That leaves an opening for Bellagio and Whispering Hush way down the inside. Fringe Benefit with something left. Sam's Magic Time coming to her. Fringe Benefit. Sam's Magic Time. Those two at the wire together. Bellagio is third, one fifty-six and four. First in the winner's circle, it's Fringe Benefit, the three-year-old daughter of Big Towner from Isle Party by Die Laughing, owned by C&I Siegel Racing Stable Limited of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Virgil Morgan, Jr. That's a pair of wins tonight for Brad Miller. Fringe Benefit shares her 156-4 win. It's her second win of the season. Four seven exact and nine eighty. Four seven four exact of fourteen twenty. Four seven three try thirty eight forty. Seven four three try seventy two twenty. And here's your rundown. Whispering Hush was fifth, emblem eighth. Bellagio third, Fringe Benefit first in a dead heat. Felicity sixth, Arts Touch was fourth. Sam's Magic Time first in a dead heat. Village Way seventh, winning connection ninth. Five, eight, three, one dead heat, six, four, one dead heat, seven, nine. Now making her way back to the winner's circle, it's Sam's Magic Time. She wins in 156 and four as well. She's owned by Thomas Price and Stuart Bolander, trained by James Price. She was driven to victory by Dave Hawk. He's also got a double tonight. She's a three-year-old. Cam's magic trick from just a matter of time by Noble and Sam. Pick threes. One LC Tornado owned and driven by Kyle Ladd. Two Why Not Molly owned by Myron Kester, Jeff Nysonger. Three is Bogo owned by William Huggins with Jay Cross. For Casimir Rainbow is owned by William Johnson with Tom Luther. Five Inspiration owned by Anderson Devino and Oop Doing Trotting, Brad Miller. Six Tweedledee, owned by Stanley Swango the third. Uh, Dan Noble is up. Seven Ruthless Jen, owned by Ted Cup, Dave Hawks. Seven minutes.
This staff Pacers are lined up for the Friday night feature at Siona. They air off. Taking the lead, it's Inspiration, but she'll be challenged early by Ruthless Jan as they head for the turn. A length and a quarterback on the outside. Abogo comes away, parked in third, followed by LC Tornado in the fourth spot, now driving through as Bogo looks to tuck in somewhere. Why not? Molly will give her a hole. Then it's a length and a half back to Casimir Rainbow, and Tweedledee is trailing the field early on as Ruthless Jan leads that field by the opening quarter. No, yeah, that's wrong. Passing the stands for the first time, a ruthless Jen leads it by two lengths. Inspiration follows along from second. LC Tornado is third. A gap of three lengths back, and Bogo is racing in the fourth spot. Followed by Why Not Molly in fifth. Casimir Rainbow is sixth. And Tweedledee uh, will do her pacing from the back of the pack tonight. She is seventh to last as they round the clubhouse turn. And it's Ruthless Jen on top. Ruthless Jen is on top by a length and a quarter as they reach the half-mile pole. Pocketed in second. It's Inspiration. Followed next in third by LC Tornado. And Kyle Ladd guides her to the outside as she tries to inch her way up. Bogle on the inside is racing in fourth position. Riding cover on the outside. Why not? Molly is fifth, but we'll have to do more. Three deep, Tweedledee is mounting a charge from the back of the pack. She is racing in six, but only four lengths off the lead. And Casimir Rainbow is last as they go by three quarters. It's Ruthless Jen leading the way. Ruthless Jen on top by just over one. Inspiration has been getting the golden trip in the garden spot. Elsie Tornado is starting to lose ground, followed by Bogo, Why Not Molly, and Tweedledee is out of it tonight as they come down the stretch. Ruthless Jen is full out, but Inspiration is coming to her on the outside. Inspiration and Ruthless Jen are locked up in the final 16th. Now Inspiration gets clear. Inspiration wins the feature, drawing away over Ruthless Jen and Elsie Tornado. Seven even. Inspiration is back to the winner's circle for the ninth time in 17 starts this season. Scoring here for the partnership of Anderson, Davino, and uh, Oop doing a trotting. She's trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. and driven to victory by Brad Miller. Two on the night for Virgil and three on the night for Brad Miller. Rundown, LC Tornado third, Why Not Molly was fourth, Bogo fifth, Casimir Rainbow sixth, Inspiration was the winner, Tweedledee was seventh, Ruthless Jen was second. Three, four, five, six, one, seven, two on the bottom. Next race, the four, my ladies' pocket scratch sick, exactors and tries, first half of the late double, 13 minutes at 10.57. One is Maple View Oprah, owned by Connie Messler, Tony Hall. Two money in my pocket, owned by Dan Perdue and Tom Baker, Dave Hawk. Three, my heart stood still, owned by Ken Ledford, Jack Daly's up. Four is out, five, Sweet Steel Gray, owned by John Perrin and Deborah Lynn Bowles, Sandy Beatty. Six, Tucson Amber, owned by Glenn and Terry Ader, with Justin Hall up. Seven is Hall Investment Company, Zenson, Cam, and David Myers. Eight, Free Dream, owned by Sharma Kutchback, with Chip Noble. Nine, Rosie Scooter, owned by Stevens, No Sarah and Murphy, Brad Miller. Ten is Gwynny Can Do, owned by James Davis and Andrew King with Dan Noble. Post time for the 11th in seven minutes. My heart stood still from the inside. Grabs control early on and quickly opens up by two lengths. A money in my pocket, racing inside of Sweet Steel Gray. They're second and third in the early going. Maple View Oprah at the Cones is fourth by two lengths. Gwynny Kendu is racing in fifth. Rosie Scooter will take a tuck just in behind of Tucson Amber. And then we get Ensign Cam and Free Dream as the early trailer as they roll around to the top of the lane for the first time with My Heart Stood Still on the engine in 27 seconds flat. My Heart Stood Still setting a fast clip early on, leads the way by one length. Sweet Steel Gray is hung for the duration in second. Money in my pocket is a very snug third in the pocket. 
A gap of two lengths back. Mapleview Oprah is racing in fourth. Gwynny Can Do fifth. Tucson Amber sixth. Followed by Rosie Scooter. And then we get Ensign Cam and Free Dream as they round the clubhouse turn on their way to the half mile pole. It's My Heart Stood Still leading the way by a length and a quarter with Sweet Steel Gray trying to soften her up and does so. 56 and one. A solid pace in here as they race out of the turn and down the back stretch. My Heart Stood Still leads the way. Along the inside, Money in My Pocket is sitting in the two hole, followed by Gwynny Can Do who loops off cover and comes into contention third. Maple View Oprah back to fourth. Ensign Cam now part of the action, fifth and three off the lead. Tucson Amber is racing in six by a length and a half. Then it's Free Dream outside of Rosie Scooter and Sweet Steel Gray bows out to last. They go by three quarters. It's My Heart Stood Still in 126 flat as they round the turn and head for home. It's My Heart Stood Still by a length and one quarter. Money in my pocket is hot on her heels. Ensign Cam is gradually making ground in the center of the course, followed by Gwynny Can Do who's dropped away from between horses as they come down the stretch and My Heart Stood Still is put to a full out drive here comes Money in My Pocket on the outside and Money in My Pocket goes right on by a weary My Heart Stood Still and wins it opening up it is Money in My Pocket finishing second tight photo maybe the seven ends and Cam over the eight free dream 156 she scores her second win of the season in 156 flat for Danny Perdue her trainer who co-owns her along with Tom Baker they're both of Ohio Dave Hawk guides her to victory and that's his third victory on the night. Money in my pocket is a six-year-old mare by in the pocket from Royal Heroin by Troublemaker. The 12th exact is tries and supers. One Miss Baker Lady owned by Eleanor Collier, Dave Hawk. To my sunshine owned by Andrew and Rosemary Stephen, Brett Miller. Three Noble Surfer owned by Larry Cleland, Jack Daly at the lines. Four Dominique D is owned by Sarah Hatcher with Larry Landon. Number five, Courtsville Cutie is owned by Robert and Gail Impson, Kane Kaufman. Cam's Magic Dance to the six owned by Carol Johnson, Rick Dingledine. Seven Lake Hills Lisa, John Perrin Owens, Sandy Beatty is in the bike. A to Sweet Savannah, owned by Myron Brown and David Brumbaugh with Jeff Nysonger. Nine Luster Bust, owned by Linda Ebersole. Jeff Ebersole drives. And the 10 is our Calico, owned by Dana Taylor with Chip Noble. Post time, seven minutes. 12th race field is lined up in the backstretch, and there they go. There off, Dominique D in close company with both Miss Baker Lady and Sweet Savannah on the far outside. Gap of three lengths, our Calico way well from the second tier in fourth. Tucking away in fifth position, it's My Sunshine. Gap of two to Noble Surfer, followed by Courtsville Cutie. And then we get Cam's Magic Dancer, Lake Hills Lisa, and Lust or Bust. Trails the single file field, covered by about 20 lengths or so. And Dominique D is fronting the field. It's Dominique D and Larry Landon on top by two at the quarter in 28 seconds flat. A Dominique D is in charge as they pass the grandstand. She's now built up a two and a half length lead on Miss Baker Lady in second. With the rail ride in third, it's Sweet Savannah R. Calico sitting in fourth. And My Sunshine is the first to pull, providing cover to Noble Surfer. Third over in the developing flow is Courtsville Cutie. And then we get Cam's Magic Dancer Lake Hills Lisa edges to the outside. She's three clear of Lost or Bust. Rounding the turn on the way to halftime, it's Dominique D calling the shot. She's in front by two and 58. Eight and one. From the inside, Miss Baker Lady is sitting in second, followed by My Sunshine, who has gained ground into third. Sweet Savannah shuffled back fourth. Noble Surfer is four lengths off the lead on the outside fifth. Our Calico is locked in sixth. Third over in seventh, it's Courtsville Cutie, followed by Cam's Magic Dancer. Lake Kills Lisa's fourth over in the outer tier and two clear of Luster Bust as they go by three quarters. And Dominique D trying to make every call a winning one. 128 flat. She leads the way by just over one length as they move to the top of the stretch. My Sunshine is pursuing her from the outside in second. Miss Baker Lady is slowly losing ground, followed by Sweet Savannah with nowhere to go. Noble Surfer gives it up from between horses. Courtsville Cutie on the far outside. And Larry Landon goes to work on Dominique D. She leads it by two. My Sunshine is getting no closer. Late pace along the inside by Sweet Savannah and Courtsville Cutie. It's Dominique D full out. Outside Courtsville Cutie. Those two hit the wire together. Followed by My Sunshine and Sweet Savannah. 157 and four.
Five four exact at fifty dollars forty cents. Try five four two two seventy two eighty. Super five four two eight two thousand five forty forty. Late daily double two five nineteen forty and three of three in the pick three two nineteen eighty. Into the winner's circle, it's Courtsville Cutie. She just gets up for the win. It's her first on the season. She's a six-year-old Noble Land Sam from Good Girl Lauren by Tarport Bach. Owned by Robert and Gail Impson of Cedarville. Trained by Gail Impson. Kate Kaufman drives her to an off-the-pace score in 157 and 4.